everybody, welcome back to another reaction. It's Lance here for a solo anime reaction. We are doing episode three of Days with My Stepsister. I watched the first two episodes. I really like the show. I work. I like where it's heading in terms of these two people getting to know each other. I wasn't quite sure if I was going to actually react to this. Dustin and Bree have no inkling to want to do this show, even though I've told them, like, no, it's different than what you think it is from the title. So all I can do is keep showing shoving praise about it to them if this keeps up at least but you guys wanted me to at least do an episode i'm at least doing episode three here whether or not i continue to do it on cam that's going to be up to the views and likes and all that stuff so let's just dive in and see what we get with episode three yeah he just shut, he just shut himself off there yeah y'all should probably exchange cell numbers Oh, so she was kind of worried about her friend, maybe. She thought maybe there's something different happening. So she wanted to clear the air. Makes sense. Makes total sense. Probably smart, to be honest. <laughs> but I do like how... uh. They're still very much trying to feel each other out, right? That's the whole point. Basically, by law, going to be siblings. So. And these two obviously have some major trauma with their parents. Unresolved feelings, stuff like that. We got that from the first two episodes pretty easily. The divorce for their, both their parents really shook them to their course. Yeah. I have a laundry bag for a few things. No, we're good. <laughs> kind of put two and two together there. But yeah. I like how Hey, there's a show out now That kind of just talks about that I watch it, it's pretty cool I'm not going to react to it on cam because I got too much stuff already But that's cute to watch too I like how she's overthinking this whole thing with him But she's also trying to be considerate of his feelings Uh, Alright. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Um, I haven't been in a long time, but I used to get my eyebrows threaded back in the day. I used to get them threaded pretty well because they're always stragglers and stuff like that. Threading hurts, though. Holy shit. Especially the first time. Heist almighty. But yeah. I haven't had them done in years, but I used to, I used to do that. Nothing wrong with it either. I think just to shape them up a bit. True, but he said it, it's, it's reflex, and to get out of that reflexive habit, you have to break yourself out of that slowly but surely. Like somebody always saying sorry, even though that's just a, a natural response to say sorry, like without thinking what they're actually sorry for, right? That's just a reflective thing. I think that's fair. That is very fair. 
That's how you grow as a person. What you say? I understand me too well. I really do like these little touches of artistic stylizations they're doing. With what that just happened with the little flashback scene we got at the beginning. I can understand if people think the it'd be too jarring, but I, I don't think it's too jarring. Sometimes the animation on the faces isn't consistent that I've seen so far. Um, but that's just a nitpick. From the artistic standpoint, I think it's a great stylistic choice for some of these scenes that they've done. Really, really good. It's not your underwear. Facts. Man is facts there. That's what makes people people, right? For the most part, people who have limiters or who don't act on their impulses. People would be really annoyed by what's happening with the scene right now. But I think that how long that pause was and just to see their dinner interactions there. Um, it's to set up the tension between the two right now, between the awkwardness and between the two. They don't know whether they had to act or have conversations with each other that much yet, right? And it could be other things too, but. How do you talk to somebody you really don't know yet, right? How do you open up to somebody you really don't know yet? So I really think that was, yeah, you could tell it was long, but that was purposely done that way. I could see a lot of people not liking that at all. She's so starved for a, a real connection. It was he, to an extent. Yep. W. W, my guy. W, my fucking guy. Let's go. Holy shit. I like the I like the the whispered yell. It's a very powerful tool to have. There we go. Let's talk about that. It seems to be a really big issue of trauma. Well, I was an asshole. Let me just start by saying the sex work is where work will work. Exactly. Your dad's an asshole. That's not thinking about anything he's ever told and said to you. Yeah, 
Yeah, that would that would definitely cause some issues. That would cause some issues. It's only it's only natural. This is a great show, I think. Once again, I always shout out Ed. Check his channel out when y'all can. Psychologist who looks at the show, he would he would have some really good insight about this particular stuff happening. Yeah, shared experiences are always good ways to bond. Share trauma too. I'm really curious if it stays the brother and sister route or if they actually do go to the romance route more. She laughed. I, that's understandable. It's understandable, right? You don't, you still don't, regardless of relationship. All right. It's an attraction. Yeah, there it is. That's when you know you got a bad. It's one of those things where, yeah, you can, like... I was happily married, loved my wife and everything for the longest time and everything, but... It's one of those things where you still have to be able to live dependently, independently as well. But you can also rely on others. You can do both. Policies and strategies. Man, this show, this show does, first of all, kudos for basically not really having an opening and not really having an ending there, right? Because you've just played off more of the story, which I'm always a sucker for. Um, I loved a lot of the artistic touches with the way the, the film was rolling, with the diary to her inner monologue stuff. We always miss out of that, of that a lot on that and... and Light novels to and mangas adaptations to anime, but it was good to, to get those her inner monologue, her inner thoughts, and they opened up to each other a bit more, right? About the the cheating and then her the issue with her her dad being a dick and an asshole, and so like she has her trauma and he has his own trauma, and that's how they're bonding over it. It's one of those things where yeah, you can open up to somebody, but you also can't be codependent on somebody. And like she was saying, you know, she still wants to live independently. Of herself, which is totally fine, but you still should allow others to be in, like, get inside you a little bit, right? Um, yeah, I was very curious to see if this would. It could still lead to a platonic thing more than anything, but I think they closed the door on the whole brother sister thing, like a fully brother sister thing, right? I think they 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 left the door open, pretty wide open for a romantic relationship, which would make sense given the context of the show. Um, I think. That as long as it continues to storytell this way, I'm good with it. I as of right now, I don't see them as an actual couple, just because we only have three episodes to cook. We know they care for each other at this point because they he's very considerate. He's opening himself up to her. She's opening herself up to him. So it just makes sense. So it's there. I just want a little more cooking and tension between the two from in a romantic sense. Also, W for him not taking advantage of that situation. Right? Too many animes would do that, I think. So I feel like it's a grown up storytelling a little bit more to do that. Um, so he already has my respect as an MC. But we'll see where he continues on if we end up getting more waifus slash girls in the show that she has to contend with and see if this actually does end up in a romantic relationship. I don't even know if it's a light novel or manga or how, if it's finished or if it is finished, how many volumes it is or chapters or all that. Y'all can let me know. Just don't spoil. And the final thought is, yeah, I'm going to continue watching this. This was definitely something right, right up my alley. I used to TA in film school, teacher assistant in film school, and I would usually teach the narrative discourse class section of a lot of film stuff. And uh, this would be something I would show to a class. Really, I would, right? Um, the way it uses certain techniques of filmmaking and animation quality and stuff like that to tell a story. 
Um, it'd be an example. I've done plenty of others, like Erased. I've used Erased a lot, too. How that's It's a side tangent, but if you're here, you're here. <laughs> In Erased, the breath scene, right? I showed that to one of my classes before uh, a few a year or two ago. And uh, that's like, that's how you can tell everything with emotion and storytelling with that scene right there, what she went through and all that. But side tangent done. Um, yeah, I like the way this is heading. Of course, I will continue to do it on cam if, we, if views and likes, comments, all that stuff continue to be at a good pace, right? It's just one of those things where it's so much stuff to do. I'm going to start streaming again. So I got to got to manage my time better. Plus, I still do a full time job. Still do a lot of side gigs. So got to work that grind life, baby. Anyway, let me know your thoughts down below. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to you soon for another action. Peace.